Well, about this, a little bit later than after developing all of this stuff in Geneva, um, we moved back to England. And amongst other things, I met up with um, a chap who was, this is related to what I'm going to talk about, who knew a lot more than I did about sheep. And we got together to collaborate and obtain funds because sheep are highly photoperiodic, that is, they respond to day length. It governs their seasonal cycle. And because melatonin is a day length dependent hormone, or at least we wish to see if it was a day length dependent hormone, um, and you could show that light was important in sheep, which you couldn't yet in people. So we decided to do some sheep experiments to see exactly how this hormone and the pineal gland were uh, involved in the seasonal reproductive cycle. And heavy hints as to what it might do had come from Joe Herbert and Klaus Hoffmann's labs, working in ferrets and hamsters respectively, to the effect that the pineal timed the seasonal breeding of these species, who depend on day length. If you take the pineal out, they breed sort of haphazardly without a proper rhythm. And this is really important because in the wild, at any rate, young have to be born at a season where it's propitious for their nutrition and their development. Uh, as a result of nice, I think, data on sheep showing changes in duration of melatonin secretion with long nights and short nights, so it was long in long nights and short in short nights, uh, and we could also shift the breeding season by uh, giving a melatonin profile in summer to fool the sheep that it's actually winter, but thereby we could change the breeding season.